for uh, Adam's rock that was with the oh. Gradle Seastar. So okay. that's 021. Thank you. Okay. okay. Are we going to suck anymore? Or no. No. Uh, or no, I think that's enough. I'm not planning on it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, again, later. Ever? I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't promise that. <laughs> Jesus. Probably not in the next uh, 27 minutes. <laughs> All right, can you push the drawer out again? Yep. Two Just to confirm, off. that's on jar two? Jar two? Awesome. Is, is that front row, is that jar two? I believe so, uh, yeah. I'd have to get a zoom in or a close up on that. Yeah, you can't, I would appreciate can't it zoom. real quick. No. Keep coming out. Hang on. Dave, can you see that a cam a little better? Yeah, you can see one behind it. Mm -hmm. Which one? Sorry. The one uh, with the, the slurp jar. Jar yeah, two? There's a label, the but I can't. It's a turn to the side a little bit. Let's see what I've got here. I cannot read it. I mean, it's the one after one, but. Okay. Usually that's two. <laughs> when I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was in the Northwest, so. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hey, I went to this. I was there too. Yeah. Yeah, but I lived in Renton. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. That fancy. Inside joke, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and Adam. <laughs> Dishing on Seattle. Did you ever go to that mall in Tacoma where the gorilla was? Yes. Me too. Yeah. That was a big deal when I was a kid. Yeah. You guys know that story about Ivan? The gorilla? No. Maybe. It was kept in this mall in Tacoma. Oh. It, was, it wasn't even a mall. It was what? just a just a store. Uh, yeah. A and grocery it, store. And uh, eventually he was, you know, people protested and he was moved to a, a gorilla habitat in a zoo. And there's hey, some really nice the box book, uh, uh, books box about it. Out. And you have to think of it a movie about it, maybe. Oh, hot. There it is. That's where it lives. <laughs> Close the box. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I need to get back on that Atlanta page here. We're spinning around. Nothing's again. in the Omega. Yeah. They're just closing it. Just closing it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You want to try and stick it on again, or just put it? No. In? Let it flap around the breeze. Maybe it'll find its happy home on its own. <laughs> All right. That's uh, one wrap into 6-8 again. Okay. Let's swing around. Nice. There's a whole foundation for Ivan. It's called the Ivan Foundation. Yeah. It was very sad seeing him there. Hmm. Zero. Okay. So... Had an upslope. We've got 24 minutes left of our watch. Science, anything else here that you want to take a look at? Not right here. I'd say let's make another no. move. Yeah. Roger. Just give us uh, <coughs> about 22 we'll minutes, I'm going to ask for a real complicated give sample. <laughs> 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 give me a minute there. I'll just try and take yeah. this uh, You turn. get to fix it. Roger. <laughs> I want to slurp something no, through the flush no. and then back out into a, a bin. <laughs> Followed by a push core. <laughs> Catch it in the push core and then. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Get over there. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Uh, it's too late to zoom on that. What are we looking at? Oh, is it Lower left corner. Black coral, coral. Uh, whip. Whip coral? We don't know if it's a black coral yet. Oh. Here in the center? Yeah, that's right. All right. Resume, Dave. Nice. I think that's a bamboo. 
Oh. What's the bottom left there? I don't know. That's a tiny sponge, maybe, huh? It looks like a tiny sponge. A really cool tiny sponge. Uh, the little pearl ones. Yeah, I've seen those before. What? Can we get any more zoom on the tiny sponge? I think we're maxed out. Yeah. It's almost boat botryoidal oh. Oh, in its wow. uh, habit. You've been waiting all watch to say uh, that, haven't you? <laughs> God, I feel better. <laughs> That's cool. Do they get big? Have you seen bigger ones, Samantha? Uh, I think yes, but not by much. Oh, cool. All right, we can pull out if you want. Okay, right. we need to get ahead, so. Yep. yep. Robert, any idea what this, what this is happening? What's what? The Getting, ball? Yeah, I suppose just in 360s, 360s. Oh, you have, yeah, zero, you, yeah. yeah. That's, that was the problem. You had a, a yaw stuck in there, so it's just going to keep going. Okay. Get out in front. Please. After you. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're coming up on the North Pacific Ocean again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's now out the port side. Uh. Yeah. Of Hercules. <laughs> You can tell by 30. the drastic change in scenery. 310, is that what we're doing? Uh, when we get ready to do a move, it'll be urchin, I think. Or crinoid. 300. Roger. Thoughts on these boulders? Are they large enough to call them a boulder? Sure. You plug tell it, I think. This one? Yeah. Mm. And I uh, can't see well enough to say. Could be a crinoid, could be a blula. There's more pearls. Oh. Does anyone know the Latin for that one? That sponge, the pearls? Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh. Wow. What are, we, what are we looking at? Cascale? Wow. Cascale. Oh, oh, nice. oh, 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 no. Oh, that no. was the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Nice. Silly oh, fish. Yeah. Okay. Happy? Happy. Bridge, now have. Let's do uh, three zero meters, three zero zero, please. Can we zoom on that zoom in. coral. Come in, Dave. A bamboo, I'd guess. <coughs> Oh, pretty. You're talking about the rock, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's a little off your right. Ruin. Oh, and something to the left. To the left. Yeah. yeah, what's just to the so left? The I'm going to confirm that's bamboo. There's something reddish. <laughs> Is that? Oh, oh no. Oh. 
Is that a soft coral? Ooh. It's like a tiny anthemastis. Uh, is that on your list? No, I just like them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it... No. Nah, no. I don't know. This is debatable if that's actually anthemastis. I haven't seen one so, sm how, so small and um, with such few... Polypy... Polyps. I feel like it's usually rounder. Mm -hmm. But the color is right. And I don't know what else it could be. All right, I think we can pull back. Ship move underway. going. Mm, there's a large crinoid. Something right there. Oh. Yeah, what is that? Where are we looking? It's a very round rock. What do you think? Chrysogorgid? I'm not even sure that's I don't not even know just if that's a, anything. That's a nothing <laughs> nothing burger. I think that's nothing. <laughs> Hey, you zoom in. Hmm. Is that that same string of pearls? Oops, the right. one pearl? Oh, that we saw a bunch of those I before. Yeah, the, the kind of. That's what ball it ones is. with the little open at the end. Yeah. Um so a tunicate. That's what yeah. Could be. This I'm thinking some stalk. sort of glass sponge. I see a stalk. It's a yeah. stalked glass sponge. Um I have another thing could be there. a euplectelid. Could be a raw salad. Thank you. That's good. We do have a question from our friends online. So it's about the lighting. Uh, can you change the lighting effects to different colors, or is it always bright white with various levels of dimness? How do you change uh, lighting effects to view bioluminescence? Our friends from Australia would like to know. Mm. Well, that sounds like a front row question to me. What? Well, no. um... That's not like a deep question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't change the don't change the color of the lighting. We don't need to do any special effects uh, that way. Right. Uh, the light is white, uh, and uh, and we white balance the camera mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, so that colors are true, uh, which is a, a little bit of a, a misnomer because as we pull further away from. Uh, what the light's reflecting off of it, things turn more blue. If you look off in the distance, things look more blue because uh, uh, red light especially doesn't travel through water uh, as well as blue light does. Uh, the only thing we can do with the lights is they're in banks and we can turn on and off various uh, uh, combinations of the lights if we were trying to illuminate a certain area. Uh, and then 
As far as bioluminescence <laughs> is concerned, if we turned off all the lights, our cameras aren't really sensitive enough nice. um, for bioluminescence, so we would just see nothing. We'd see black. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Sure. What's that? Mm. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in. If you guys have any more questions, please send them in. What Sorry. is that? I think it's just a crinoid, yeah? Yeah. Oh. That's in fun. That's a crinoid. With its, I love with those two up there, Super it looked fun. like it was like arms. And yeah. there's another little baby you put to Yeah. Yeah. What's that and to the right the of it? Cella. The, the little spongy? Yeah. Yeah, that we, we think it's euplectelid. Euplectelid, really? I think it's a euplectelid. Interesting. Um, I can't see a stock on this one, actually, though. The last one you could. Um, it looked to me like Amphidicella. Amphidicella. Yeah. Our ship moves complete, but do you want to just get forward of the ship lineup for the next watch? Yeah. Great. Red thing? Shrimp. 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 All the way. <laughs> All the way down. down. <laughs> That's what we have to say now every time. <laughs> every time we, we all have to say it in unison. <laughs> so we're changing the name of our watch then? It's a shrimp, shrimp all the way down. <laughs> yep. I don't know. People the, can uh, vote in the chat. The yeah, vote gorgeous. in the chat. Yeah. Tell better. the gorgeous. Yeah. Or what are these two stick things? In the sand. Ooh. Oh, you think? Human? Or unicorn horns. Close. Looks like vertebra to me. But more likely a sponge or coral. Sponge. Dead. Sponge. Dead. I wish Seen it was a bird. It's only bad. sleeping. <laughs> yeah, sleeping. <laughs> Forever. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> what <laughs> is that? We'll never know. Wait, what are we looking at? <laughs> nope, yeah. never mind. Alright, moving on. We gotta we gotta stay out in front of the game here for the yeah. handover. Oh, uh, well, Holothurian. Oh, yeah. Holothurian. Should we look at it? Mm, uh, no, I think we see it. More sponge stalks. We have our first vote. Team Gorgeous. Mm. Team Gorgeous. Hmm. Another one, oh, from our friend Moya from New Zealand. Just all the way down. <laughs> all the way down. It's an interesting rock. Hmm. Contours is the same.
Those are some really interesting rocks. Yeah, I think in the watch change, maybe we'll have him pick up a rock first thing, yeah? Mm. <laughs> Reminds me of moss. The, the fuzzy like bits? Yeah, looks like a dead sponge in front of us. Yeah. Oh, you have something there on the now rock. Dead sponge. Yeah, I'd say dead, you plug tell them. So many dead sponges. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Gotta get a sponge. What kind of sponge die off besides this? What? Why do sponges die? Hmm. I don't know the answer to that. Age. Sometimes they fall over. Hmm. Uh, they vulnerable to like temperature change. Could yeah. be like food. Yeah. Currents change. Food availability. They don't care as much for yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because they rely entirely on. Do we still have a ship move going? On current. It's like this small region, <laughs> like all of them are dead, so maybe, mm. like you mentioned, yeah. like food availability or something like that. Right. Yeah, because it's not like knocked over or anything. That's true. Hey. Okay. Mm. Mm. Good. How are you? <laughs> you go on mute. Just a whole lot of sand. Whole lot of sand. Yeah, things are changing a little bit right now, though. Oh, look, there's like a crinoid or sea star. It was on the right. The red one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Persinged. <laughs> For our folks at home, thank you so much for exploring with us. Right now we're ready for a shift change. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good. 8 to 12 shift, signing off.
Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Hey, I let's think go. Adam's like deaf. This station is turned up to like plus 11. Everyone is so loud. <laughs> Robert's usually got the side tone on bust, but it sounds okay. <laughs> um, okay. Cheyenne, did you get that from Samantha? The direction we've been going that's kind of been working out? Uh, yep, it's about 290 to 300. Okay. Yeah. Um, in a moment, let's keep on keeping on. But first, uh, we'd like to collect a rock from around here. And I think we're not waiting on any moves, correct? We're holding here. No. We're holding it. Yep. Yeah, so if we could get a, a rock from this area, that would be awesome. And again, going for the roughly two laser width sized mm -hmm. rock, two to three laser width sized rock. Uh, Loopy, what do we have right now in the starboard bio box? Okay, looks like we have one, one big one and two small ones open, so F and... Yeah, just one C big rock and then two cool. about this one? Uh, yeah, let's look at that one. That looks painting good. Painting there. Yep. that camera placement. That's dangerous. The uh, still still cam placement? Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I should probably check on the still cam, see how it's doing after this. Well, I think any one of those looks good, eh? Yeah. Uh, Size-wise, anyway. Uh -huh. Size, so one of the larger ones, probably. Um, hmm. Like, does this... Oh, I hate when it's on the circle. Sorry, hold on. Whoa. What happened? Does that Sorry one look free? <laughs> Sorry, Leila, I, I didn't look up. I was trying That's to okay. land here, and then I'll see. Yep. <laughs> I was looking at this one over here. Okay, yeah. Day. Excellent. Look at that beautiful placement. Still Cam not getting scratched. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Did you just like animal coax your, your seat Toss to lower? Toss at the chair. <laughs> I can't remember where they call the controls there. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, that one's nice, too, the yeah. one you just kicked up. Smack. <laughs> oh, Adam's coming up. Adam's like, we look terrible rock decisions. Nope, just kidding, he's leaving, he's fine. <laughs> Stuck okay, on then there. let's do the one to the right that you moved accidentally. And Loopy, just make sure that when Michael gives it a good skip spin after, you take uh, take pictures of it. Oh no! It's like playing a claw game. I'm not hearing. I didn't hear you for some reason. Speak again, sir. Hello? Okay, no, I do hear you. Okay. You said it's like playing the claw game. Yeah. Like an arcade. That always reminds me of Toy Story, that one part with the claw. And 
so yeah, Loopy, here you're going to be taking pictures as M Mike spins it, and then... Oh. Precarious. And then writing a description out. Um, you can write it first in the digital one, yeah. Mm. Uh, not dive status, though. It's the sample. Okay, yeah. for That's the great. showcase? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go sample salvo. And Sarah, can you get the... Okay, the cameras are good. Uh, just I'll take the arm in the, in the uh, bubble camera, please. And the lasers you can see on it for size now. Yeah. If it fits in one of the in in uh, in C or D, we could do that. But I think it's probably a big one. So in this third speed, we have a different camera. What exactly are we looking at with these tubes? And uh, box out. And then, uh, sorry, Lila, which one are you asking me to go for? Which um, I'm bad with size perception. If that thing fits in one of the smaller ones in C or D, we could do that. But I think it's probably big. And in that case, uh, it's F. OK. Uh, open up. Uh, yeah, sample tray. Biobox, whatever. Starboard Biobox sample. It's got two names. Okay. Actually. Yeah, it's big. It's huge. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's do F. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay, close the box. And Loopy for the navigator, what sample was that? Um, that was sample 22. Great, thank you. Okay, and I think we can uh, call in a ship move to continue as we were towards waypoint three. Awesome. Uh, pilots, how do you feel about the position of the ROVs um, for the ship moving uh, towards you and being s you yep. being swept more towards the bow? Uh, we're we're just carrying on along the path, right? Mm -hmm. on. Yeah, we're okay here now. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're we're ready to go. Awesome. Bridge Nav. Good morning. Uh, can we go 30 meters at 290 and 0 0.3 knots, please? Thank you. I can hear you. Sorry, my thing is a little weird. Sorry, can you say that one more time? Something I find makes, it, makes life easier too is... Um, for some reason my headset's a little weird. Um, you were asking about the pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, generally at this step, we are experiencing a lot of pressure. I'm not too versed in the physics of things, but there's a whole yeah. lot of pressure at this step. <laughs> That's for sure. It's very, yes, yes. Um. Okay, and another sea lily. Did they collect one of those already, Loopy? One of the crinoids? I think they have, okay, Chrysogorgid. A, what does that one say? That's a rock, okay. And then it looks like Paula didn't write brief descriptions of that. If we could go back and see what those are and write that in, that'd be great. Maybe go through and make sure that each of these is in is on the paper log. Ooh, this is funky looking rock. Yeah, cool, huh? Hey? It's a cool shot of a uh, cool shot of Atalanta or from Atalanta. They almost look like pillow basalts. You think that's what this is? It does sort of have that structure, um, the kind of large flowing bulging structure of pillow basalts. And then it looks like there's a big, there's a lot of this botryodal, that small dimply crust on top, but I'm not a geologist and I won't, I won't claim things, but that is what I would say as well, yes, if I had to guess. So and go ahead, someone was going to talk. And you can go ahead. Another crinoid, I think. Something else to the right of it. If you could put your mic a little closer to your face. That's better? Yeah, I think okay. so. Cool. Like a crinoid and some sort of coral to the right of it, and something else above it. Can we get a zoom on that one above it? I think it's just another. You want to zoom? Yeah. On this one? Are you talking about the Chrysogorgid in the center? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Maybe video. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to tell what shape that is from here. Yeah. Some kind of chrysogorgid. Mm hmm Nice. Thank you. Okay. Full wide. Do you still feel good with the position of the ROVs in the ship, or do you want to give it more time to get to the stern? No, we're fine. I, I think okay. uh, you can keep the moves coming unless we're stopping the sample or something. Uh, science wants to stop. Let's see. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. Bridge nav. Uh, can we do five zero meters at two nine zero degrees and point two knots, please? Thank you. So Adam was saying that the biology has really been picking up. 
I was just about to ask. <laughs> I'm like, where are that? So we're sort of getting in towards the depths there are in this area of the Pacific. A couple I was mentioning earlier, bands of higher, higher, I guess higher diversity typically, um, not necessarily density. <laughs> and we're getting in towards towards one of those bands, which is around like 1,700 to 2,300 or so. So we're we're just getting into that. So we'll see how that plays out for us. What are we looking to sample? Um, we'll just be sampling particular. whatever we see as the dominant, uh, dominant players in the community. Cool. So that we can confirm, even if we think we know what it is, uh, so we can confirm that. Um, and, and yeah, just have samples maybe one day that could be used for population genetics, but right now it's really still just capturing the biodiversity before awesome. even doing that. Cool. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking in the back of my head, maybe one of these crinoids as we go along. We've just been seeing those the entire time. Although I think it's, this is a different kind than what we were seeing earlier. It's got like a yellow stock now or something. Um, could we, next time we see a, a, one of those stocked crinoids? Oh, uh, you can yeah, see like this, this one. one. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, do a zoom on it. Just get some good images. I'm sure they did that on the last watch, but just in case. Oh yeah, there's a couple right here. Yeah. So the other ones, right, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we're all dark, dark reddy color, right? Purpley color. Okay, go ahead and zoom video. I think we have to get a better look, but I think I remember seeing some yellowish really? stalked okay. ones. Maybe we've been seeing those for a while. Looks like there's a little bamboo there um, too. Yep. Yeah. It looks a little different. Yeah. It looks lighter to me for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do we have the one to the upper closer. left? I think there was another one um, that maybe we could look, have a better look at the face of it. Sure, yeah. Uh, full wide? I didn't. Uh, okay. This yeah. one just. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe I was wrong. There's a little something I think here. There a little was. something. I, yeah. I don't know what it is. Very Zoom in there. To see. I don't yeah, know what that is. A little. Oh yeah. Oh, it a is little one, one, but little. Not, not too much better view. It's a baby. We'll see as we go along if we get another. Little one. So it's not doing so well. Maybe he's small and yet, or maybe he's it is small and growing. Looks sad. It's just growing up. <laughs> they all look sad. They're all turned <laughs> <laughs> downturned. There's something else growing. White. Yeah, like when you get up closer, then you start to see that there's all kinds of other little stuff living on yeah. this, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the little white bulgy bits yeah. are. It's kind of difficult to see right hard now. Hard to say. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, come wide. Maybe they're not Loopy, sad. while you're they're checking up shy. on stuff there, I'm taking <laughs> pictures, so... And don't have to worry about it for a couple minutes. Let me know when you're when you're done updating over there. So for those of you just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are here currently in the Central Pacific Ocean exploring an unnamed geo off the coast of the Cayman Reef. And we are on our first expedition of the season, NA-149. And we are about 2,326 meters below the ocean surface. Shan, would you mind just zooming out on high back again real quick so I can see sort of where we are relative to waypoint three? Not that we need to be hitting any of these exactly. Maybe what that distance is. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, about 300 meters. Okay, great. Thank you.
Looks like there's one yeah, to the left. Yeah, just a whole bunch of the crinoids. Yeah. And one to the right. But I don't know if we can get a good look yeah. at their face on either. Check it out. It's like a bigger one, but it's still yeah. kind of downturned. Maybe, um, Michael, next time that we're kind of on the front end ahead of the ship move and maybe have some time for a, a flyby grab, maybe we could pick one of these up, a smaller one, if you think that's enough time. Uh, yeah, I might want to stop them anyway. We'll okay. see. It takes a little bit to get a view of it sure. and get it in the box and stuff. Um, go ahead and zoom. really awesome to see yeah. how rigid their stalks are. It feels like we're shaking up here and I'm watching its stalk shaking and I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, obviously that's the same motion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, full wide. I think I got to scoot ahead here yep, a bit. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. It's hard to say. Our, our Atalanta is moving around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I think it's starting to calm down though. Um, okay. Then maybe Cheyenne, after this move is complete, let's wait a sec to put in the next one. And as it's looking right now, there will probably be a cry note in yeah, front of us. There you and go. We can pick that up. Yeah, sounds good. We got about uh, 10 meters left in this move. Great, thanks. Some interesting facts about what we're looking at here. Cronoids are an interesting uh, group of animals that exist on the ocean floor. They are actually a related to starfish. They're in a group called, and can you help me with this one, Sarah? Yeah. Echinoderms, correct? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is an area of animals that includes starfish, brittle stars, sea cucumbers, and, of course, in this case, crinoids. Crinoids date back to around the Ordovician period, which is around 488 million years ago. And it had varying degrees of success and failure throughout Earth's history. Oh, but here's a good exist. one to image. Yeah, let's do it. Is the ship moving now? Uh, we have about one meter to go. Yeah, but you, this could be, be your sample stable. if okay. you like it. Let's take a look at it quick. Yeah. I'd like to get one of the ones that sort of had the yellow stock. Yeah, this one looks a bit darker. Yeah. Wrong, wrong flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom <Sorry>. in. Sorry. <laughs> so that's the one yeah. we were seeing earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different. Yep. Different. Ooh, look at that center, though. We could, uh... We were seeing a lot of these the whole time earlier, and we didn't collect one. So That's could, true. could take one of both. Um, sure, let's take it. As really... It's I'm trying one. to tell if the lasers are just going through it, and it's, it's smaller than I think. I think I the lasers are on the sediment behind. Making yeah. this look ginormous. Trying. Yeah. But it may also be very large. I think. It's very hard to tell. Looks like it's kind of bigger. Let's hold on this one and we'll take one of the others that's a bit, uh, we'll take a bit yeah. smaller of, of one of the others. Okay. Full Thank wide. You. So we're all, uh, almost right under Argus, so I can go a fair bit ahead uh, okay. if you want to. Snip yeah. around for another one before we dial in a move. Yep, that'd be great. Some sort of fish. Um, just passing it. Oh, 
course, now we've got nothing but the other, but the other kind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like we were seeing those more in this sort of interspersed, cobbly, sandy area. Yeah. And then on the steeper face, more the other. That one looks smaller to the left there. Mm. Um, maybe the, it may be the other kind, but yeah. that's all right. It's a huh. lot more manageable size. Do you see that, Michael? Uh, I think so. This one I'm going for? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I come up a little bit? Can you look down anymore? Oh, you can come up. Uh, well, mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of hold. Just a second here, see what happens. Yeah, I don't know if this is a Argus is getting swung in there. See mm -hmm. how close it is. Yep. So I don't know if I want to stay here and sample this one. Okay. Um, the That's ship's right. not moving, right? They're just swinging in back behind the ship. Uh, no, they are stable. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to We're just move. waiting that's for Atalanta close. to come into place. That's close that's for right. Atalanta. Yep, that's fine. All right. Is this part of the, the, the vehicles are taking longer to swing into place with the current? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you Got see it. in the sonar here, yep. this one, don't mm -hmm. like to see anything in that inside ring that's 20 meters yep. for Atalanta. Sounds good. So yeah, it's just exactly, it's just when they swing in. Up, 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 up. Yeah, it's got pretty steep here for a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Do you want to continue moving or stay nah. in this uh, area? Not yet. Let us get off yeah. the wall here a bit. Wait and swing into place, see where we end up, and, and um, Michael, whenever you're in a good spot, we'll see what's in front of us. Yeah. So... Atalanta seems fine for That's the moment, better. so just got to get Herc out in front. I would love to, you know, have known what that is, but not the moment. Now would be a great time yeah. to see this <laughs> I know. sampleable Come on, species. Ocean. <laughs> Give it. Just well, classic. There's one something cr uh, here. I don't know. Uh, to the upper to the right. No. One here, right You're above the lasers. You're seeing something I don't see. I what don't even it? see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something right there. Nice. Zoom in. That looks like it might be the yellow one. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, we want it. <laughs> Try for this one. <laughs> it's beautiful. Perfect size. Yep. And so you can hit the sample in situ button there since we haven't manipulated it yet. Yep. And now we have a, a photo with that tag. And you can keep taking others normally. Yep. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, Michael. Okay. Full wide, please. And probably a, a grab and put on top of one of the rocks on the side. Okay. Can I do something like this?
So you can, during this part, yeah, be starting to write out that description. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a crinoid, stalked crinoid. Here, I'll write it on here. We're going to collect it. So good. Here, we're getting a... All right. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Stocked crinoid here. That's what it is. And you can describe size and color. Shouldn't have hit that yet. Such. Actually, go back. Bye. Just a second here. No worries. Get this out of the way. This is one we collected in the past. Those things are huge. Yeah, those are really pretty. It's fun now to get to look at this guide and with various sponges be like, we've collected one of those, I've held one of those before. I know that one's crunchy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel confident saying that this is any of the ones in the guide. Probably a bathocrinity and maybe you know bathocrinus but I, I don't don't know that it looks different because it has the uh oh that's precarious oh nice uh oh no it's not in the box <laughs> <laughs> Oh, get back here. Whoa. Like a spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's like picking flowers in the garden. Like these, you notice all of them are radiating out from the same spot, and this kind of has five, it's pentamerous yeah. symmetry mm -hmm. radiating from five yep. points, which is interesting. Yeah. All right. Only got one camera. Come on. That got to be it. Yeah, that might be it. Oh. Oh. Uh. Come on, little noodle. Um, if it's what do we got in the front, Luby? Um, we have one second, Mike. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can we can put that in lambda if that's easy on, on the porch. That'd be easier. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it definitely does feel like a claw game. <laughs> these, yeah, these claws are a hard to get in spots. I'm trying to get over here. Yeah. At least on this one, it doesn't take the money. <laughs> right, not as directly. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's trying to take a bonus pebble. Uh. Oh no, managed to get just, just crinoid. So going in the toolbox, Sarah? Yeah, lambda left. All right. Let me know when you want it out. There's stuff in there, but it can go on top. Oh, that's a reminder to... You can try the pan and tilt light. That might be useful. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what do we got? So during this part now, Marginally. you can be writing out the sample, yep. And then okay. just don't hit it until it's in the box. box out. Lime to left. Okay, that'll do. Lots of neat samples already. Yep. What have we got here so far? There's a Brazingid sea star in there that I don't anticipate trying to uh, do anything to this crinoid, and also a rock. Hopefully, Lambda's big enough to be home to our new crinoid friend. It's a long stock. Very long spaghetti noodle. Mm hmm. I'll take pictures of that. Oh, what's that one that you just had open? This one? It, yeah. That's like Looks closest. Really similar. Crinoidia. Mm hmm. Okay, maybe it's that. This looks like the darker variant, so I'm yeah. curious if this is and just like a. And it's got the right symmetry. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Could be, could be that class, mm -hmm. but who knows? And that's good. Good that <laughs> there's lots that we're of variation. It. Yeah. This will be a fun sample to look at. Yeah, it will be. And it's nice to look at them now and appreciate their colors because usually when you put them, yep. Always when you put them in the 95% oh yeah, like ethanol, they start to leach their color. This is pretty. Oh yeah, that one looks pretty close. Close. Yeah. Okay, so oh. Luke, know, yeah. you could write in the description maybe crinoidia, uh, spelled like that, like on Sarah's screen. Crinoidia, class crinoidia. So close. Get in there. <laughs> I want to be a free flower floating in the ocean. <laughs> Close box. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, easy Gentle. now. I might have to poke it down. Okay, hold that for a second. Okay. <laughs> right, it's going to go tubers, on its own. Oh, oh. Oh. Too buoyant for its own good. Yeah. It's just the right amount of buoyant, just mm -hmm. not for our purposes. Mm -hmm. Just try and close. I think it is actually a little bit. No, uh, stop there. Yes, fell down. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to escape. So if it were to escape, could it reattach to a rock and be fine? Um, I don't believe so. <laughs> yeah. I think it's sadly it's, it's, it's either free falling or in our box. It really wants to leave. <laughs> Could this crinoid You're survive? You're going to get to go home with jewels to the Museum of Comparative Zoology. <laughs> You're going to have so many other crinoid friends there. Close a little bit, just bump. You're going to be a star. You're going to be a star. Yeah. Uh, hold on. No, I'm stuck in here. Okay, close. Yay. Looks ah. like again close. Nudge a little and maybe in there just a little bit. Close again. Can you live with that? Yeah. I'm afraid to keep playing with it. Yeah, we can live with it. It's mostly in All there. All right, close it up. Oh, oh wow. Can we open it all? Let's see. Uh, are you okay with that, or do you want yeah, me to try and poke it more? Oh. Let's see if you can back in. Hold on. Maybe, maybe a little, maybe a little poke. Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> Hold on here. Just a little push and shove. I also love how the impossible sensing stickers just saying hi to us. 
Uh, you can you can hit submit. Yeah, it's we've got it in some form. I don't think it's going to jump out anymore now. Try that. It doesn't look much better than that. Yes. Woohoo! Woohoo! Great. Thank you. Okay, we can call another ship move, Cheyenne. Perfect. In the bag. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that was great. Uh, bridge nap. Uh, let's do another five zero meters at two nine zero and point two knots. Thank you. I've just got to take off a little bit here yep. to get back out front. That's great. I'm going to come up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you come on up. All right, doing good over there, Loopy. Um, since it is for us now May 21st, it's over there, it's 10 a.m. UTC, May 21st. We're on the same day now, yep. What's yep. that one? Is that another one? Or is that something, something different? Yeah, yeah that looks like sure. something else. Let's zoom, zoom on it. That almost looks like black corally, yeah. but... Uh, not sure yet. Yeah, that's a. Oh. That looks like a black coral um, bath pathies, maybe. Wow. Nice. But kind of hard to tell. It's oh. like. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yes, it's a black coral, but it's very pinky. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can definitely see in the central Yeah, Luffy can put maybe bathy pathies. I'll show you how that's spelled. I can actually write things into the chat. Does that help you if I start writing things in the chat? Okay, full wide. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there you go. Argus has got pulled around there. What's mm -hmm. going on? I don't know how many black corals we've been seeing. That's that's yeah. the first dive I remember seeing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's under the schizopathy. Can you turn? Can Argus go around to starboard?
Mm -hmm. You can turn your other thruster on if you have to. Or sorry, uh, no, yeah, to starboard, you're going around the port there. Yeah. You got it. Other way. Ten. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just go all the way around. You got to turn in, right? So I just want you to do a full 360. got to go the other way though. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. I'll come up a little bit closer to you. I just spin around in a full circle. Then. I think let it catch up, because I don't know if it'll, if you keep going, I don't know if it'll try and be smart and go the other way, I don't know. Are we getting out of wrap? Yeah. The tether's all messy. Come up a little bit. Let's see how that pulls out. Okay, so just take up your 290 degree heading and try and, and hold it and see if we can turn that thruster off. Tether looks okay. worth getting both types of crinoids that we've been seeing or mm -hmm. just one because i think that one She's looking a lot better to the right might be Is the, the other darker stalk but i can't yeah tell. so yeah get it on 290 and shut that thruster I think off that's and the see yellowy one oh. in front of us yep. right now mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good to keep in the back of our mind Did we see, we saw the darker one in there somewhere too, or something that looked we like did. it, right? Was it also one of the crinoidea? Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah. So yeah, you, it's just falling around that way, is it? I think now that we've got our ship moving, we'll push ahead for a little bit. But Can um, you bump it with the yaw to try and keep mind. it on 290? Or is it, it's just doing it now, is it? It's not making it. The, is it like that one? Okay. Perhaps. All right, I got to get no, up in front of you there. That looks yellow also. That looks a lot like yellow what we just got, actually. Banded. Well, this Show. one has... Oh. See how that has like a... Looks like it's, oh, it's I can't tell bit. if it's like a stray, kind of. I don't know. But yeah, that looks very similar, too. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. Very Which difficult. is why we collected it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad about that. Um. Okay. Feeling good? Almost. Um, okay, Something come up a little bit. We're pretty around. situated here. Yeah. It's like a pencil. Is that uh, crying? It's like a, kind of it looks it's like a, a cuskeel. Oh, it's an ophir, uh, ophiroid. Oh, you're looking at a fish. I'm not looking. Oh. <laughs> I 
didn't see that word. <laughs> I'm like, look, <laughs> that fish looks just like an ophiuroid. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. We can uh, just, uh, that, that like, looks like that another fully yellow, yellow crinoid. crinoid. Do you want to go back and image it? Uh, sure, yeah, real quick. I don't know. If I don't think we've seen any seen of the full that, yellow yeah. stocked crinoids yet. Bridge neck. Yeah, that's a new mm -hmm. one. Uh, let's do another five zero Here, meters ahead, at two nine zero and point two knots. Thanks, Cheyenne, for keeping Thank us you. going. Ooh. Yeah, just take some good pictures of this one. And of course, you know, you get closer and it looks like there's a teeny little sponge. A little brittle star. And there's oh. maybe one of those jellies on the crinoid. I don't see the brittle star. If um, we have another moment, can we look, zoom oh, see on now. the yeah. head of the crinoid right with that little red Just a bitties. second. Yeah. I yeah. Gotta, I gotta go. I know oh. we're still a little ways out. Might not be possible. And there are some more a crinoids couple. there at the base yeah. of the rock. Not Ooh. stocked crinoids. These look more like hyocrinidae. Hyocrinid? Yeah, yeah, we gotta come up. Yeah, quite sure. All right, full wide. That's fine. Let's see. Yeah, one of those. Kind but of they all look so I know. similar I know. to each other. But yeah, maybe hyocrinidae. Very nice. There. Got a little steep section. Oh yeah, it's so hard to tell unless you're looking in. Uh, yep. Is that the sea prince sonar? The sea prince one is down here. Which one uh -huh. is that one? This one. That's up uh, a top right. Yeah, top right. Uh, top right is Herx. Top left is Argus. What uh, what are those ones called? Oh, mesotex. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Unless you look in there, it's hard <laughs> when you're looking at the cameras sometimes to tell how slow, how steep this slope actually is. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle because one of the Argus thrusters is broken. Oh, it is. Okay. So is it it's just really it's just falling circles? off. It's heading all the time, and then yes, it just spun around in circles. So <laughs> had to be careful. Uh, if one is broken, does that mean we're just trying not to thrust very much? It means the other one's working overtime. Okay. They go in. Do they go in opposite directions? The two thrusters on on Argus and their front. Are they on the front and back? Yeah. Front, yeah. Are on Atalanta. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Sarah, maybe it's worth uh, if you can put the other one on for a minute and see if you can get your heading and turn it off. I don't know if that'll work at all or if it'll just keep falling right away. So that's something I would note, Loopy. Um, just that the that one of the thrusters is not functioning properly. And so Atalanta is struggling to maintain heading. Is that a darker? Nope. That's the yellow stock yeah. still. Yeah. Some really big ones. It just falls right away, probably, does it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice field of igneous rocks. <laughs> yep, can pretty confidently say it's all igneous. My mom always liked to call them ignorant rocks. Ignorant rocks. <laughs> is your mom a teacher? She is, yes. Nice. Scheduled a shift to shore class with her. Oh my gosh, cool. Yep. What grade does your mom teach? She teaches kindergarten through second. 
Kindergarten through second. Wow, all mm. the cuties. Yep, so Can we perfect. zoom on whatever this uh, is right over there? I think it's a chrysogorget, but mm -hmm. cool. Thank yep. you. That's exciting, Daniel. It's always fun to get to interact with classes that you know, especially a family member's class. That's cool. It is nice. Yeah, I always like talking to the okay, kids. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Yeah, I don't know what kind of chrysogorget these are, but some kind. It's hard to see it without seeing the base, uh, what the, the general shape is of it. Could could be crisis, but it almost looks a little bit longer. That's good, thank you. Okay, full wide. Our Argus is, or uh, Atalanta is all flipped around again. Mm -hmm. Trying to turn back around again. So, Lila, what's the most samples do you think y'all have collected on one dive? Uh, was that Amber just now? No, it's no? Loopy. Hoop, loopy. <laughs> oh, sorry. What did you say? What's the most samples do you think y'all have collected on one dive? I've been collecting on one dive. Oh, Michael probably has a better Is guess that for that. A different. I don't know. Just that like, like full. It was off full. and comes back full, right? Yeah, whole. <laughs> whole herc. <laughs> so eight samples, all the bins, multiple things in the bins. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. I don't know. Definitely I've collected a lot more than this, though. That one's yeah, got a little got friend. Yeah, bottles, too. Yeah. Another brittle star on this sea lily. Yeah. It's a big one. Oh, look at that it's one. huge. They're all huge. Arm. Huge. And they've, uh, a lot of them, the one in the back also has a, a, a brittle star associate. Yeah. If you could zoom on the brittle star. Uh, no, okay, that's fine. There are <laughs> more opportunities ahead. Look at that. They're lining yeah, I'm gonna, up for I'm us. I'm going to go now. <laughs> yeah, that's so fine. There's another one over there. Yeah. You you get ahead. Wow, you look get at ahead. Just do a quick one. Go ahead and zoom. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It gets yeah. so tangled up on there. I think it looks like a big one of what we collected. Mm, it does, it does. All right, great, thanks. Okay, full wide. Yeah, so seeing that there are brittle star associates with many of the type of crinoid that we collected, of stock crinoid, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is, I'm just commenting on it right there. That's interesting. That almost looks like a, um, like a basalt that's cracked open where you can kind of see like the inside. Yeah, I noticed that. Mm-hmm. Had almost like a glassy texture to it. Mm-hmm. Especially given that I mean, the basaltic uh, flows tend to be shocked by the cooling of the water. Yep. Yeah, that's like classic internal structure of basalt flow. Mm -hmm. From what I have gathered from previous dives, again, speaking yep. from my uh, <laughs> from the background of a marine geological oceanography class, and Bridge not much now. more. Yeah. As a geologist, I can uh, see right tracks. Let's do another yeah. five zero meters at two nine zero and point two knots. Thank you. Was geology your background? Yep, it is. Nice. Yep, graduated from West Virginia University in 2022. And I enjoy geology as just a nice outdoor environmental science. Yeah. Get to go anywhere with it. That's definitely true. Well, my main interest in uh, geology is actually uh, cave science. Oh, cool. So cave formation or what kinds of caves so honestly any kind mostly uh car yeah, systems it's better to do it right? <laughs> what's my big interest what were the two you said uh car systems and lava yeah. tubes so car systems cool uh, in west virginia there's uh many car systems throughout given that there's a lot of limestone everywhere mm -hmm. dissolves easily and I was a part of the student grotto, and I would 
go out every weekend or so, just wild caving, exploring. Cool. It was a lot of fun. I was uh, doing a, um, a research course in Bermuda for a while uh, at the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences. And that also, on Bermuda, there are a ton of these like limestone caves all throughout Bermuda. They're really cool. We got to go swimming in some of them. I loved that. Those are fun, must be fun to explore. They really are. Now, Bermuda is also a host to a lot of them as well, given the unique geochemistry out there. Yeah, yeah. Try, and kick it, try and kick it around again. Yeah, and then right away, try and do it as fast as possible. I think if you go yaw, Oh no, sorry, now see it's gone around the wrong way. So just control it manually, send it around the other way. Because it just took the shorter path, I think. So if you take auto heading off and, and use the yaw control and go back around to starboard. I'll try and play with Atlanta here. So for those of you who are just tuning in, welcome aboard the EV Nautilus. We're here in the Central Pacific Ocean, right outside the Kingman Reef. We are oh, on oh, our I first cruise. Way too many. Hmm. We are on our first cruise in a 149 of the season. So welcome aboard our first expedition of this year. Hold on, let me keep playing with it here. Yeah, turn the, th it's aft one, right? Yeah. Then you got to have auto heading on. Is it going to stay there? See, it's going running away because I put in too many. We're currently about 2,270 meters below the ocean surface. And our dive today is about 20 hours long. Why does it do that? <sighs> just troubleshooting yeah, Atalanta just heading right this. now. All good. Just given context. So we are currently exploring an unexplored seamount within the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. Some Out, of our main outside goals. Outside the monument. Oh, right outside the monument. But still, in the EEZ. <laughs> yep, still in the EEZ, which means Exclusive Economic Zone. Some of our main goals on our expedition include serving and sampling diversity and distribution of deep sea benthic communities. As you saw, if you tuned in earlier, some of our sampling with crinoids. Also to sample geologic features to better understand their structure, age, and volcanic history. And taking samples for other scientists who are ashore watching our live feed. And one Just thing that's Be cool. careful with the auto heading, Sarah, because I, I hit it that many times. It just keeps spinning around now. Just be careful, but I gotta get back in position here. And uh, you're gonna have to come up a bit too.
One thing that's yeah, cool about I'm where we here. are currently is that although it's not in the National Marine Sanct uh, National Marine Monument, it is currently within the area, which is the full EEZ. No, don't mind that. The the altitude is more important. I will even let that swing around. I might just uh, let Argus just go swing around backwards, as it'll probably just stay that way. Or Atalanta. That's been nominated uh, to become a National Marine Sanctuary. And the open comment period, the public comment period for that nomination is open right now. And in Nautilus's, in the first uh, blog posted for this cruise, uh, there's a link for you to add your public comment. So if you see anything beautiful here or feel excited about that, um, feel free to go. Let your voice be heard through that link. Let's try this again. Yep, so much of the work we do here is to help inform the opinions of the public, such as yours, on many legislation that could lead to the entire sanctuary for this region. Seem like Atalanta's stabilized-ish? Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> Do we have good pictures of the slope, Loopy? I'm going to take one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a cool stock denominator. Bridge now. Uh, let's do 100 meters this time at 290 and 0.2 knots. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Cheyenne, for keeping us on keeping us on track. That's that. Let's try this again. We're just gonna keep doing that. What if we power cycle the compass? Hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, you can't do that, right? It's hard. Okay. Yeah, Sarah, um, like, uh, I don't know if that's ever going to work again. I'll turn that off and see if you can drive it manually. If not, we'll just let it flip around. Is it that we're trying to keep facing toward her when it keeps just getting yanked from the tail? Yeah, exactly. Got and it. now I'm out behind it. So yeah. I'm going to plow to get in the front. But if yep. it, and that's enough time on that. If it doesn't work, I think we'll just let it flip around and we won't have that view. Okay. How far, Cheyenne, are we from waypoint three? Just trying to, in my head, get a grasp of how far we've gone. Yeah, like if you can get it with the yaw control, right? Forget the auto uh, head. We're if about you can do yaw to get meters. it over there, okay. but if it so doesn't want to go. like 150 since last asked that. Sweet. Yep. Thank you. Like, let me just try one thing one. quick here. So if I turn the thruster on, and I go yaw, and does that bring us the right way? Yeah. 
No. Do you have a dive right. plan in front of you? Right here. Thank you. Oh, is it this way? Okay. Ah, oh, that's not helping. Okay. It looks Let's see like if it stays there. From waypoint four onward, it gets. But it just real keeps spinning steep. that way. It'd be interesting to see. We can't have that. Uh. Yeah, I just kill those thrusters. Hold on, just stop the ship. We got a bit of an issue that mm -hmm. just keeps spinning around. Bridge nav. Okay, we almost got it. To uh, stop. can we stop the ship right here? Thank you. Because you—that's one turn now, 1.5. Yeah, and it's just spinning. So now with the single thruster, it's just spinning around and around? Yeah, well, they're both off now, but the... Okay, the auto heading wants to go that way. Let's see if it pulls it around. Okay, hold on. Let's let this go for a minute. No, let's go. Uh, come on. Hard to tell. Right. That's going the right way, anyway. Sir, are you on SPL? What's it? Even if it's just troubleshooting, it's nice to hear your beautiful voice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Then so there's where it's supposed to be. So if you mm -hmm. if you shut it off now, can you actually hold it though without the auto heading on? Ooh, holothurium. And with that thruster off? Right. It's just ripping yeah. around the other way again. Yeah, it instantly starts going. Well, are there, are there commands in here? Hold on. Here, that's okay. So, is it yaw or lateral? No, that's the wrong way. Okay, so this way. No, that. Okay, this is the right way, but it's still it's not enough jam. I think mm -hmm. is that what it is? Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so you should be able to hold it with a certain amount of yeah yaw on, like if it gets here, right? See what I'm doing? Keep it yeah. a little bit on. Just use the yaw controls. Maybe this will work. I'm hoping. Sounds hopeful. And then I got to get back in position here. That's. Yeah, that's pretty hard to deal with. Sorry. It's going to be a. Does this mean Sarah's going to have the awful task of? Plus 10, minus 10 -ing. All the time. She's going to be the hero of the day. Oh, <laughs> the MVP. <laughs> the MVP is right. <laughs> we'll see. We were doing the, the yaw plus 10 multiple times before, and it was still going back to it. So hopefully yeah, now I, it's just adjusted. Yeah. But before we had the auto head on, so. So Kay. there might not be anything wrong with the auto head. It might just be with one thruster. It just doesn't just 
it's a little hard on its brain and it just spins around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I think we're kind of back. Okay. Let's carry on. Great. Are you feeling like we could take another ship move? Yeah, start the ship going, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Bridge now. Seems to be okay for the moment there. Eh? Yep, she started to uh, swing. Let's do seven zero oh. meters at two nine zero and point two knots. Oh, big other way. Thank red you. String. Mm. Oh, uh, <laughs> and there it goes. That was interesting. Don't know what that was. It's funny, you know, we're down here with a little bit of tunnel vision looking at just what is within our view, feeling like this is the entire world, but sometimes you're reminded, you look in Atalanta view and you're reminded like, oh, there's a sponge way off over there in the distance, we're not looking at any of that. Right. Not right now, but sometimes, and then and then even what is in front of us is so hard to get a good Even that is sometimes. so small, you look at the ship on the seamount. <laughs> yeah, that like too. Yeah. So tiny. It's funny you spend like 20 hours like we've gone so far. You look at, you look in the grand scheme of things, and it's a tiny little strip. Yeah, it's the difference between a bird's eye view and a myopic view. Yeah. And and it would, it's would be impossible to look with a camera at every part of every seat now, which is why it's important to do this kind of work where we over a long time build up a data set of um, what kinds of fauna and uh, what kind of geology we see on uh, different aspects of similar seamounts and then to try and as best as we can because it's what we've got to do uh, extrapolate or model what we think s other similar seamounts might look like um, with similar uh, environmental parameters. And how often do we continue uh, surveys? Like, I believe this is the second survey of uh, this area within the past year or so. Is it always a goal of ours to come back to the same spot that we've been before, or is it always just exploring somewhere new? No, we're always exploring somewhere new. It's very rare that we would dive on the same site again. Um, on the in the Pacific Northwest, you know, at methane seeps, sometimes there are a couple known methane seeps that have been dove on multiple times. Um, Won't do it. Especially trying to get time series samples, but as, as a general and especially in exploratory cruises like this, we try always we always go to places that have not been dove on before. Um, and yes, there was a, a cruise last season that came out to this region, um, but did not dive, did not get in a ton of dives and did not dive in this, uh, in this region of the EEZ. So all of this is new and, and is specifically within that area, except for maybe one or two dives that is outside the monument and within the EEZ that is currently being considered for a National Marine Sanctuary. So it's great to be able to help inform that. Yep. Yeah, it seems like it can do it, Sarah. It's just like you have to drive all the, like you, really you'd like, you, you should have a stick, right? <laughs> You're driving it manually with a mouse. Yeah, that's annoying. It's very impressive. Just You're doing great, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. What Adam was saying was that they were starting to see more bio, but it was all small, small bio that I guess you can't really see from What's afar. This stick thing down here? Is it a sponge? Yeah, it looks like a dead sponge thing. stock right there. Yeah. yeah. 
laying on the Can't ground. There's a big Holothurian. Let's look at you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that one back there. Zoom on that friend. They're like fluorescent. They, they're wow. so they're beautiful. bright compared to everything else. We're so hungry for color. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead and zoom. That's giant. Look at that wow. thing. It's like 30 centimeters long. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. So pretty and frilly and ombre. Yeah. Kind of looks like this. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to try with the sea cucumbers because every time I think that it <laughs> looks like it makes sense, there's like 50 that are like, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, uh-huh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, it does look a lot it's like that. What is, what is, we can say I think maybe. these are all the same yep. kind of type. Hansenothuria. All right, maybe Hansenothuria. Wow. That's close enough. Okay. Beautiful. All right. We'll catch up. Always amazes me seeing creatures like this to think that we all exist on the same planet. I know. That's why I became, sort of just chose as a marine scientist to focus on invertebrates is because every every single phylum that you learn about is has anatomy that is so completely different from human anatomy like i couldn't i couldn't even make that up myself like what a ridiculous thing you know sp a sponge having chambers with little cells with whips that try and get food out of the water inside sea their cucumbers bodies you know, sea cucumbers uh, yeah eviscerating their guts <laughs> spitting their guts out <laughs> it's, yeah they they're and and echinoderms there's some sea stars that can they have mutable connective tissue so they can they can make their tissue soft or or hard depending on uh you know if they're feeling threatened or not Chrysogorgia they can regenerate in the, in the view Chrysogorgia, yeah you want to zoom there sure okay. quick zoom while we're here why not seeing it from a different angle Let's yeah. see, let's look at pictures of Chrysogorgia crisis and see if we think that looks like it. Can we go a little tighter, is that possible? I'm curious what all the like darker dots are. Beautiful. Uh, maybe it's Chrysogorgia saddlebags. Either that or there's like a ton of carnivorous jellyfish on it. I don't know, that's very hard to tell. Hmm. Um, did you get pictures of that? Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Mike. Cool. Okay, full wide. Sorry, um, that wasn't the best. That's fine. So be at the top somewhere. Not that. Below Janiculata. Mm. I forgot this. No, no, yeah, saddlebags. Yep, yeah. that's the one. I think it might be saddlebags. Looks, looks like oh, it. Oh, wow. This one's. It's hard to tell on that one, yeah, but the, whenever the whenever they have those extra little bumpies, yeah, I think yeah. So Are maybe those the saddlebags. Mm -hmm. So put that that might be Chrysogorgia saddlebags. Go ahead and zoom. Oh, it's this. It's also the yellow oh, one. Yeah, the yellow stock. Huh. Can you just say the name of it again? <laughs> <laughs> um. the gorgeous saddlebags. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. Um, it is like this, okay. like literally saddle bags. There you go. Okay. Yeah. But all one oh. word, saddlebags. <laughs> okay. Well, why? Ooh, sponge. Oh, wow. Look what's here. I know. Ooh. Yeah, quick zoom on that would be cool. Okay, go ahead. Glass sponge. Oh, Ooh, and sponge. look at that red. Oh, so what's the red? Yeah, what's the oh, red? Oh, yeah, that's mushroom. an anthemastus mushroom coral with coral. its uh, polyps wow. sucked in. Hmm. Yeah, can we see that from the other, from the left side a little more? Is that possible? 
This looks like a maybe. Hold on, I think I know what this is. Would you like to focus on the red or the white? Oh, uh, we're getting both of them great right now, so that's fine. Uh, the white, I guess. Okay. Oh, bumping into stuff. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. go. Thank you. Okay, you can go in again if you want to get the red red one. I'm not going to be able to fly close to it though. It's That's bumping okay. no into problem. the side of the hill here. That's all right. Oh, look at it. I think it's. Uh, it looks kind of like. Well, this is Anthemastus. Yeah. Feel fine about the mushroom coral. It looks sort of like Lefraella, the sponge, um, which is a uretid. But I'm gonna also look at the Lysacinosida. That's good, thank you, Michael. Okay, full wide. Got a goal. It also looks like Lysacinosida. Hmm. I feel maybe m mo more good about this. Uh, uh, you can say you're redded. Either, either that, or maybe this. You go back to that one. Both maybes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I find it hard to wear. I wore contact lenses because I find like with the masks and the glasses yeah, and the, the hat foggy. and the head, it's just like Mr. Potato Head is too much <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hope we're. I hope everybody tests okay tomorrow because I, know, I find I'm it ready hard up here with contacts. Like eyes are so dry. It's only an hour and a half into this. Can you go back to the other one? That was a I feel like I need glasses. <laughs> Once you get glasses, you don't go back from that, even yeah. with contacts. I Glasses know. are so much. No, I can't handle contacts up here. It's just killing either. me. <laughs> well, technically, I am supposed to be wearing glasses. I just did not bring them on the trip. You didn't bring did them? I no. I did not. Ooh, okay. This is so, cool. That's whoa. a Ferrea. It's dead. Oh, wow. Wow. But it looks like um, a Ferrea. And let me remember what kind of Ferrea that is. Go ahead, zoom in. These, I always think, look like the rib cage of a... Uh, of an in, of a of a vertebrate. Okay, it's this Ferrea. Not alive, but maybe if we continue up slope, we will see living right. ones. So mm. I'm happy with quick quick zooms and okay. keep going. Full wide, please. A Spidoscopulia. That's great, Sarah. Doing great. Bridge now. Doesn't seem, yeah, like. Uh, let's do a hundred meters at two nine zero and point two knots. Doesn't seem like we're seeing anything too new, so I'm what? happy to keep trucking. A lot of crinoids so far. Oh, sorry. Can you repeat that? Oh yes. Did you get that yes, one? Yes, we can. Yes, I Do you want to do fifty um, meters? Dead right. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. that one. Uh, yeah, looks like a new coral zoom maybe. In. Quick zoom. Oh, that one's beautiful. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that looks like a zoanthid overgrowing hemichorallium. So the yellow is the zoanthid, and the pink underneath is a hemichorallium. I think that's the first we've seen of this. Yeah. Cool. Got some good pictures of that, Loopy. Thank you. Okay. Full wide. Uh, I'll spell that out for you. That is yellow zoanthid overgrowing. Hemichorallium. There you go. Oh, 
looks like.